Bye, Jamaica. Goodbye, Jamaica. I came up and I'm like, and I see the parasailer in the water. I'm like, like, how's the parasailer in the water? Good Lord Almighty. Two hours later, we have checked into the Cayman Islands. We've made it to civilization. Davis, how old are you today? 12. By the looks of all the boats, I think we found hopefully where the stingrays are. Oh yeah, there. I see one. Oh, I see one. So we are now checked out. And now Starting to see that we're on to something Feel it coming, we'll keep running Nothing in our way We got what it takes Here we go It's finally our time to say goodbye to Jamaica and head on to X Island. Where are we going next? Cayman. The Cayman Islands. Yep. All right, we are heading out of Port Antonio, saying goodbye to our friends. Bye, Jamaica. Goodbye, Jamaica. Davis, how was Jamaica? Good. You liked it? Well, we got to run a car. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. So we don't have to walk around everywhere. <laughs> Bye, Jamaica. It's real, it's just a seven o'clock at night, and uh, the team's feeling a little good. Dad's feeling the best. Mom's feeling, hey, how you feeling? A little bit better. All right. I don't feel great, but. And so me, I, so, actually threw up for my first time on the boat, being seasick. So that's how sick I've been on the, on this trip. We're feeling much better, I guess. All right, we got a first mate on ship right now. Davis is up here, looking around. And he's flying. Oil Our rig. Parasailer. Oil rig. Cool. See that little dot over there? Yeah. It's not showing up on the map, so that's probably an oil rig. What that is, what that is right there? That's the radar showing up. It's not showing on AIS, but it's showing up on radar. So that's where, that right there is a radar hit. really cool to see over here so it, if you're on the boat right now it looks so cool just flying it looks like it's bigger than the boat almost yeah I mean while I'm on shift I was watching movies so a little popcorn yeah I mean it it's really just calm and like subtle right now so, I mean, that's why I want to get on the ship. I want, I want to get on the small. I don't want to get on the, uh, the big waves. Those are not fun up here. I mean, it's just crazy to, like, just for me to be on the ocean and everything. Because it, I mean, I didn't really think be doing this when I was like seven years old or eight years old. So I mean it's just really weird to see me just sailing on the ocean. I'm gonna try to do two hours of uh of my shift. Okay so scariest thing just happened to us. We were flying our parasailer fine like really fine and as soon as I asked my dad to take my shift like he called me for help like immediately and I came up and I'm like I see the parasailer in the water. I'm like, like, how's the 
parasailer in the water. So one of the lines uh, that was holding the parasailer, I guess it snapped. Because we'll show you the line in a second. And it like just fell in the water. I'm just really shaking up about that. So yeah, we got the parasailer out of the water. It's up on deck right now. Um, got all the lines up, everything. So yeah, not a bad day to go. And we'll probably get there tomorrow mid-afternoon, maybe. Um, maybe tomorrow mid-afternoon to uh, Cayman because of what just happened. We're all fine. Everyone's doing well. Yeah. So here's the frayed line that chafe snapped. Line. Well, the chafe. the chafe line that snapped. So this is day two on the water, headed to Grand Cayman, and um, we are. Unfortunately, under the Genoa again, uh, we were flying our parasailer earlier and the halyard chafed through and a whole sail went into the sea. After three hours of sailing, amazingly. I mean, we were flying. And it was great just to have the engines off and sailing, it was, it was great. So, but everybody, all the crew did a good job. Um, Davis helped out. He grabbed the, the basically kind of like the halyard. It's the, the part that goes all the way to the top of the sail. And he was able to hold that while Shannon and I wrenched the sail back over the side of the boat, back onto the deck again. Um, which is a sail, so I'm basically having to lay on it as it's coming out of the water because it's wanting to take off. And it's so heavy because it's filled with water. And like as we got to the, we got to the actual, the parasail, like the, the wing, the wing like was holding a lot of water, and it was just like really tough to get up. So we finally got everything up on deck, um, and assessed everything, and unfortunately. The sail is ripped in a few places, so we have to get it fixed. And um, we'll probably have to wait till we get to Panama to get that done. But um, my crew did a fantastic job under the circumstances, and it's a big learning experience for us, I think. What are your thoughts? I guess nothing like coming out and seeing this huge orange thing in the water and the only thing keeping it above the water was the inflatable donut part. <laughs> Otherwise that $10,000 sail would have sunk to the bottom of the ocean. No, it, we had it tied. It was tied well, up to the was... front, but it, it did help out a lot. Um, and then I get to repair our Genoa. Yeah. It's I coming it's... in stone right here. Yeah. So I'm going to have to repair that. Everything else looks good. But on happier times, I thought we were gonna have a pretty sunset tonight. At least the waves have calmed down. Well, they're building up again, but they're not as I'm bad not as they were. Tonight. Yeah, they're not as bad as they were uh, the night before. Yesterday was something awful. That's a pretty sunset still. Yep. There's always a bright part of the day, even when things seem down. We are pulling into Grand Cayman. Got about 10 miles to go still, maybe 15. Before we make the turn, as you can see, Grand Cayman's right here. We're gonna be along the coast until we get to Georgetown, which is way down there. We made it to the Cayman Islands! <laughs> Finally! Yeah! <laughs> got dolphins! The Grand Cayman, and we've got Disney the Disney Magic, and we just picked up a morning ball here in Grand Cayman, in Grand twenty Cayman. and twenty knots of wind. Good Grand job, Cayman! Yeah, we are way out here, past the cruise ships. We got we got the last mooring ball of the night. 
port control has come to our boat and asked us to drop our dinghy in the water and then we're going to follow them in a very rough ride I guess go to check in with customs Welcome to Grand Cayman In Grand Cayman, the check-in process is relatively easy, other than you have to turn in your spear fishing poles at check-in, and they'll return them to you when you check out. This one's pretty long, that one's short. Good Lord Almighty, two hours later, three. we've checked in, was it three? Yeah. We've checked into the Cayman Islands. We are here. We're going to head back to the boat right now because our dinghy's on this beach in the port security area, so I don't want to leave it there. It's already sideways, but um, oh. we're here. It's beautiful. Beautiful it's kinda, water. It's, hopefully it calms down a little bit because it's real rolly in Anchorage right now. Davis, what are we getting, bud? KFC. KFC. Burger King. We're getting Burger King. In the Cayman Islands. Can you believe that? Somewhere out of America, you got KFC and you got Burger King. Are you happy to be getting like something familiar? Yay! There she is. She's walking with our food. What you got there, babe? Yeah, Sweet. So that's how you do delivery in a dinghy. You climb up on a dock, you walk under some businesses. Well, if it only was and still, there's no diet, there's no Coke. Did you know Burger King only has Pepsi? When do they switch to Pepsi? I don't know. And there's no diet Pepsi, there's just Pepsi. We gotta take our pick this morning of cruise ships. We're parked beside the Disney Fantasy, the Norwegian Escape, and then an MSC cruise. So there, I guess there's like 9,000 plus people on shore today. Tell us who parked next to us this morning. So the Disney Fantasy parked next to us this morning. And actually, we were on the Disney Fantasy. So that's a, that's a nice experience to have the Disney Fantasy right next to us on our Yeah, journey. we've been on that boat. Yeah. I mean, that, that's just really crazy. That was on that. We are the furthest boat out. Yeah, the furthest boat moored, but that's, we got the last mooring, so we're out here in like cruise ship alley. Yeah, it's really nice though. We are headed out to go snorkel, and there's a ton of snorkel sites right here. We're kind of along Seven Mile Beach, but we've been watching the cruise ships and the dive boats and where they're going. So there's a lot of snorkeling to see right off our boat. So we're gonna go over to Passion Rebel and snorkel off the back of their boat and then the little dive sites nearby. over for sundowners Hi. fantasy disney fantasy this is sailing vessel paradise falls I told you you were on your boat on in 2018 are you going to play all your horns um leaving your protocol uh, yes uh, normally we do copy we're that or the catamaran on your port side and our boat is named after a disney movie paradise falls from up Yes, only stay clear from the vessel. Uh, you can stay in the bow uh, part of the vessel, and we are going to play the Mickey Wishes. Oh, Mickey Wishes in the bow. Copy that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Yeah, that was pretty. We have been at this anchorage now. I guess this is our second full day here, and it's beautiful. We've got, you know, a new batch of cruise ships today, but the wind, it's really, really rolly here. So we're gonna take the three hour motor into the inner harbor of Grand Canyon. And Davis is gonna take us off the mooring ball today. Go starboard. And we're free of the ball. All right, starboard forward. 
Captain Davis is taking orders from Dad. set in a nice little protected little harbor that looks just like Fort Lauderdale, but we're in Grand Cayman. We have moved over into Governor's Creek. It's a beautiful day. Davis has finished with schoolwork. We finished with chores, so now we're going to go explore the island. not a poor island <laughs> and we're gonna tie our dinghy to this wall at the end of this canal so we are walking Davis wants to go find a geocache that's up here so we're gonna try to go find that We make a super quick stop to view Seven Mile Beach. What's your recommended? We're just friends. Uh huh. And, um, We've made it to civilization and a shopping place. The first the shopping movie theater. since Fort Lauderdale. Movie theater. What's the hint say? So look out to the fountains, rest your arms, and look under the right. Right here. Hold on, hold on. Nope, ah! nothing there. There's light. It would have been right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found the geocache. It's a micro geocache. We separated from our buddy boat and went to the National Gallery. This is a contemporary art museum showcasing local artwork and traditional crafts. So what did you think of the museum? It was nice. Was the upstairs cool with the national art? I mean, yeah. It was pretty neat. I mean, you learned there's there's actually, if you watch the art or look at the art, there's actually history involved in it. We then walked to Costuless, which is a giant <laughs> warehouse store, kind of like Costco, without the club fees. Holy cow. So we just went in Costuless, which is basically like a Costco, and we got well, I packed some of it away. But things that you would get at Costco for relatively the same prices. So this is the best grocery store we have seen since Fort Lauderdale. So we were running out of a couple of things. It was just nice to see like bulk stuff and like big supply of groceries. So we didn't have enough bags today. We're gonna come back and get our fresh stuff before we head to Panama. But man, that was really, really nice to see. So not all places have dinghy docks. So when they don't, you have to improvise. So you can improvise on a wall instead of a cleat. There's trees to lock your dinghy to. Um, but yeah, it's not, uh, it's not if, awful. If you're not sure about the safety of it, bring a really long cable and a lock to lock your dinghy up. So get used to a lot of walking when you're doing this. So we're going to buy grocery stores and I think it's what, a two mile? I mean, we could have taken the bus, but. Or we could have put the bikes in and with the trailer and done all that, but. But we needed more exercise. So yeah. one thing is I wasn't gonna bring my running shoes because I thought I'd just wear flops, but I wore flops when we were out yesterday and they hurt my feet. So have a nice pair of walking shoes because you'll be walking and carrying stuff on your back a lot. It's Publix. Holy freaking grocery store. We have not seen this kind of luxury since we left Fort Lauderdale. 
Okay, and I don't want to be like, I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. It's, it's just very Americanized here. Yeah, I mean, when you've been in the Bahamas and you've been in these little tiny like mini marts and you're trying to find vegetables, to walk into a place that has a variety of things like milks and it's just, you appreciate it a heck of a lot more. So I think people that are saying that Grand Cayman is expensive, they clearly did not go to Jamaica and the Bahamas prior to this, because we're finding this to be pretty darn competitive to the U. I mean, it's it, a little bit more from the U.S. Our, our dollar doesn't really translate to a dollar Cayman, but the pricing is, is the same. So we're paying about maybe 15 to 20 percent more for, for things. But I mean, it's not as much as we were paying for things in the Bahamas. No, we're finding it pretty affordable. So that was a delightful experience to go in there. It was just nice to walk around and see familiar things again and have choices of things. We spent $95 yeah, in like there on a handful of groceries. Tomorrow's Davis's birthday. So we didn't, my daughter's coming in two weeks. She's bringing some stuff from Amazon, but we just kind of had to get like prime drinks, just some stuff to make his day for tomorrow. Davis, how old are you today? 12. 12 years old, and where are you celebrating your 12th birthday? In the Cayman Islands. Yep, what are we going to do today? I don't know. What do you want to do today? I don't know. Do you want to go see the stingrays and the bioluminescence? I don't know. Alright, let's open my present. Ooh! <laughs> are you going to cry? <laughs> no. What do you think about your birthday presents? I like it. Huh? I love it. Pretty it's best, cool. It's the best we could do with a grocery store. And <laughs> I know. And we have taken just a short little motor sail over to Stingray Bay. So we're going to jump in the water. There's already a couple tourist boats here, I guess, from the cruise ships. But we're going to go explore the stingrays. And then hopefully this evening we will get over to go see a bioluminescent bay. So should make for a really fun day. Happy birthday, bud. Thank you. Birthday driving. By the looks of all the boats, I think we found, hopefully, where the stingrays are. Oh, yeah, right I see one. Oh, I see one. Oh, what a gift it is to love and be alive. Oh, what a day to go and leave it all behind. The sky is opening with possibility in our mind. <laughs> he is swimming around, finding shells and hermit crabs, and showing them to tourists. Should be selling them. We could make money off them. Man, and then like, what? What is this? Like fifty dollars a tourist? I mean, we can make some money. Man, you can make bank doing this. Not that I'm up for like animal tourism, but I mean. We just got back from petting the stingrays and I, this morning before we left, I baked Davis's cupcakes and I'm getting ready to frost them. So one thing I really like having on board is I just put all my cupcake, it's really easy to make cupcakes on a boat. I even, I made these underway, I'm getting ready to frost them when we're underway to our next anchorage. But keeping a box or two of cake mix and then a box or two of pre-made frost frosting 
because while I like really making my frosting and my cakes from scratch underway, it's just not exactly the easiest. We're sailing? We are sailing. We've been sailing since we left the stingrays? We've been sailing since we left the stingrays and we're we've got the generator running and making water, so that's why we're sailing. Yay! How's Gino's pizza for your birthday, bud? Good. I was thinking about KFC, but... Is this better than KFC? Yeah. No? Happy birthday, Happy Davis. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Yay! Okay, we just hit a small bump here. Uh, it's uh, like, uh, uh, I would say mud, and I went through it like, uh, we just slowed down a bit, but it's, it's no big deal. Where are we headed? We're headed to Kamana Bay Marina. Um, it's free dockage along the wall during the day. So while I go check out, Shannon is gonna go do some shopping and hang out with uh, Patch and Rebel. Got a little clip for you. So we're gonna step out here. We're gonna go grab some groceries and go shopping, hang out with our friends and Rob's gonna go check out of Cayman Islands. And then tomorrow we'll be headed for Panama. So it's so cool. We park here. And then we just walk up here for shopping. And Davis gets to ride his scooter. So I am headed over to uh, Customs to check us out of Grand Cayman, even though we love it here. Um, it's time to move on to Panama. I'll be back. Woo. Just locked up, headed to Port Authority. Go check out. So we are now checked out. Uh, immigration was upstairs. Customs is behind me here. We're checked out, ready to go. Um, actually, immigration, she went ahead, since the weather's kind of weird, she went ahead and didn't stamp us out. So we still could be here for 30 days, but we just need to call them when we're leaving in the morning and verify, yes, that we're leaving or know that we're gonna stay. The great thing about this is, is we've already checked out. I've got my checkout paperwork from Customs and Border Protection. What you can do is, is you, once you get that paper, you can go over to the marina. You can fuel up your boat with diesel, not gas, with diesel. And you have uh, tax-free fuel. So you're going to save about 85 cents a gallon, imperial gallon, not U.S. gallon. So that's actually a little bit more. Uh, but you'll save about 80, 85 cents a gallon on your fuel. So. Island mango tango beer. It's amazing. It's really, really good. It's like a free beer. We have had an amazing day here, just parked at Kamana Bay. Did y'all like it? It was really, really fun. It was a nice experience. So I'm gonna get to some meal prepping before we move our boat back over to the Anchorage. I really could not have asked for a better day. This has been a great final day to being in the Cayman Islands. Not necessarily looking forward to this five to seven day passage, but we, we had a really good last day. Perfect. All right, guys. All right, thank you. Save trouble. All right, I've got, our, I got our, our spears and we are heading back to the boat to get ready. We've got to go here, fuel up, and then we can head out. So, ready to go. Head to Panama.